Um, now, <laughs> the band which gave us Under the Moon of Love, you got what it takes, Three Steps to Heaven, I could go on. But they're coming to Basingstoke this week. Shawadi Wadi will be f- performing at the Haymarket on Thursday night. And joining me now is the band's original drummer, Romeo Challenger. Hello. 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 How are you? Uh, yes, I'm I was good, about to good, say good. Good morning, but that's wrong, isn't it? I know. I, oh, I'm terrible, honestly, <laughs> Romeo. I get, you know, to me, it's just the morning until I've eaten my lunch. That's well, the problem, absolutely. and I haven't had it yet. So, <laughs> there we go. So now you're you're out on tour, and you're coming to our patch, is Basingstoke on yes. Thursday. Yes, we are. Yeah, looking uh, forward to it. So, do you still enjoy the touring? Absolutely. I mean, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. We call it. A, well, we've been together forty-two years, so mm. it's a forty-two year tour. I mean, it's. And sometimes, you know, the, um, the travelling can get you, you know, down a bit. But basically, the, mo- the main thing is we enjoy actually being on stage performing. Yeah. So, yeah, so we still, you know, love it. Yeah, walking out there is still what you love doing. It's the absolutely. sitting in the traffic jams that's the yeah, chore. <laughs> that's the chore, absolutely, yes. <laughs> now, it's within the band, you're not all the originals, are you? No, no. I mean, the, the original is myself and Rod. Um, who plays bass, hmm. but we have um, Andy, who plays Dave Marsham, was on lead singer, and um, we've got Dean, Rob, and Paul. Right. So, so the only two originals are myself and Rod. Hmm. So when you first got together with Shawadi Wadi, I mean, you've been in some bands before that. Y- yes. Did yeah. you think it, you were going to be as big as you've become? No, not at all. Not at all. No, and I mean, it was just something, I mean, I've, I've been in sort of but, um, progressive rock bands and, you know, we did the Isle of Wight Festival and we did all these um, Moncho Jazz Festivals and things like that. And it was great grinding for me to sort of play to these venues and just, you know, at a reasonably high level. Mm. But uh, what happened is uh, somehow, you know, a chain of events took place where I sort of um, joined a band in Leicester and then they, they turned out to be Shiwadi Wadi. I mean, originally... Um, there were, uh, Shawadi was actually two bands amalgamated. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just, we did it just for uh, just a bit of a, a laugh and a joke, actually, to start with, because we shared the same venue, but every other week. So we decided, well, let's, let's just see what happens if we put this uh, Shawadi Wadi show on. And uh, it turned out that it went down better than our um, perspective um, gig. So, um, we decided, well, look, listen, um, we think this is going to be, uh, you know, a, a good show to put on. I mean, mm-hmm. not, n- not, not even thinking it was actually going to be a success. It was something that we wanted to do. Yeah, and you were just enjoying what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you all got together, it was about 73, wasn't it, in Leicester? Yes. So were you living in Leicester then? I, I, well, I was living in Leicester then, yes. We yeah. all were, yes. So, yeah, so that was sort of... And then it wasn't, you know, you hadn't been together that long when you were on New Faces. No, um, we'd, we'd, well, we'd, um, we were doing sort of lots of live play, um, gigs all over the place and all the rest of it. And, um, yes, you know, these things, word goes around and the, a TV producer heard about us who, who did small, um, who did the New Faces thing. Mm. And our management asked us to go on the show. I mean, at the time we said, no, we don't want to be connected to sort of talent competitions and mm. stuff like that. But, um, you know, we were persuaded to do that because, for the simple reason, um, you know, New Faces was getting, I don't know how many millions, I would say 20 million, or whatever. Mm. Because remember, in those days, there probably was only, what, four TV channels, wasn't yeah. it? So, yeah. you know, everybody, at a certain time of, of the evening, always tuned into the same, you know, favourite channels. And, um, you know, New Faces was mm. one of them, and we um, actually didn't actually win the show. We came second. Yeah. But by the, the, by the exposure we had, um, all the record companies were chasing us. Yeah. So it was a great exposure. Yes, it was. Absolutely. Yes. And then your first single was, it was Hey Rock and Roll, wasn't yes, it? Yes. Yes, in 74. Yes. Um, but then you had another 22 chart hits, didn't you? Yes, we did. I mean, the thing is, um, the first, I, mean, I, think the, I think the first four or five um, singles, hit singles, were written, were self-penned. Oh, gosh. And, um, and somehow um, uh, somebody brought in an old mm. uh, song for us to do, and we thought we'd do it, and uh, um, 
I think that was uh, Under the Moon of Love. Yeah. And it went to number one. And, of course, the, the thing about it is with, with record companies, and all that, they think, well, if that went to on, number one, we want another one like that. So, hence, they, all the record companies, all they were, were really watched from us from singles were old tunes, basically. Yeah. So, I mean, we gladly obliged, but we would obviously prefer to have done our own material. Mm. But... I mean, you know, all the all the material that we had ended up in albums anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it was still getting out there and getting heard. Yeah, it was still, absolutely, yeah. Well, we've got one of your songs ready to play now, so I'll play that and then I'll come back to you for a couple of minutes if you've got time. Yes, I have. Okay, it's You've Got What It Takes. My guest is Romeo Challenger, Shawadi Wadi's drummer, and that was You Got What It Takes by Shawadi Wadi. So, uh, Romeo, you know, for my sort of memories of the band, of course, are, you know, your outfits. You really went to town and dressed up, didn't you? Yes, yes. And, and we still, you know, I mean, it was quite a colourful, uh, you know, thing that we had in stage, you know, all the different colours and all that. And um, to this day, that's what, you know, people... Expect, up at the yeah. Gig. Yes, yeah. And so hopefully... And people in Basingstoke, uh, when you come to the gig on Thursday, you know, dress up accordingly. Yeah. If you want. That would be great. And um, also, didn't you wear, I think my husband said they were called Flesh Creeper or something, shoes, you know, with the, the thick soles. Yeah, crepe soles, yeah. Crepe soles. So do you still wear those? Yes, I still, still do, yes. Yeah, wow, fantastic. Yeah, nothing's changed at all, <laughs> other than now, our, some of our ages. Do you still fit into <laughs> the same suits? Oh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was cheeky of me, wasn't it? <laughs> no, but I uh, know. But, uh, <laughs> but of course, you know, now there are very few bands that really dress up in a way, you know, with their own style. They they all sort of go with what the trend is of yeah, now, do, don't yeah. they? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I mean, really now, I mean, some, you know, you, most people now, if you see a uh, uh, draped suit and all that, it is associated with the band now. Yeah. You know, yeah. and in fact, maybe the suit, the, the suits are probably more famous than we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, as famous. <laughs> so who d who decided on what you were going to wear? Well, no, the thing is, we, well, we just decided that um, we all liked um, 50s inspired music. Mm. And, um, you know, we thought, well, look, listen, if you're going to be 50s, um, we're not Americans. We're all British um, people. And what did he have in the 50s? For the 50s, Teddy Boy. Yeah. Basically, so I mean, it, it wasn't really a difficult thing to work out what what we were going to actually wear. I mean, there was, the, I mean, America's, I mean, Britain was the only country that had teddy boys, actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah, America had this sort of a college look, you know, um, that, that you know that sort of uh, di different sort of style than we are, you know. Yeah, which had to do with the rock and roll, wasn't it? Sleeves and, and jean, blue jeans and stuff like that. But you know, we went for the uh, Edwardian look. Yeah, no, it was great. Because, I mean, it was so, you know, unique and still is to you, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, quite it? unique and distinctive, so yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I, know, I can remember, you know, things like even on Top of the Pops, sometimes you all had different coloured suits. And That's other right. times yeah, 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 you yeah. all had the same colour and, yeah, you know, yeah. and those big, you know, big lapels. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely, yeah. So we can look forward to seeing that on Thursday. Most certainly. Uh, what else, um, obviously, you, you sing some of your hits. Well, we, yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll sing... Most of the hits yeah. that we oh, do. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So I think there must be, a, there would be about maybe 20 or thereabouts, yeah. maybe, yeah. in the show. But we, I mean, we, we, it's, it's about two hours long, so, I mean, there is an intermission. Mm. So, you know, yeah. to get it all in. Yeah, get your breath back and yes. everyone can have a drink. Yes. Well, listen, it's been lovely talking to you. I um, really enjoy the show in uh, Basingstoke. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope to talk to you again another time. Okay, cheers, a pleasure. Okay, Romeo, bye okay. for now. Bye-bye.